वेलकम टू माई ट्यूब गुरु डॉट कॉम इन दिस सीरीज ऑफ टूटोरियल आई विल इंट्रोड्यूस यू फंडामेंटल प्रोग्रामिंग इन सी लैंग्वेज दिस टूटोरियल इज फॉर बिगिनर्स हु डज नॉट हैव एनी प्रियर नॉलेज और हैव वेरी लिटिल नॉलेज ऑफ कंप्यूटर प्रोग्रामिंग आई एम अडोप्टिंग अ वेरी इफेक्टिव अप्रोच सो दैट लर्निंग बिकम्स इजी लर्निंग एनी प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज इज लाइक लर्निंग एनी लैंग्वेज दैट बी यूज फॉर कम्युनिकेशन इन आवर डेली लाइफ इन द सेम वे बी लर्न द grammar of programming languages before we start grammar of c language i will write a simple program and explain it so that you can feel comfortable with the coming concepts you must be familiar with some concepts before we start writing the program as you know computers only understand machine language a combination of 0 and 1 called binary digits so if we will write a program in any other language then computer cannot understand it so we need compiler to convert a c program to machine understandable form and for writing the program we need an editor for the above two purposes we can use ide stands for int integrated development environment using an ide we can not only write our program we can execute it on the same place and debug our code if there is any error here in this tutorial i am using developer c ide you can download it from the link given with this tutorial so let's start the let let's start the first program here open the source file and studio.h main uh, i will print a simple message hello on the screen so i have written the program now we have to save it somewhere say i am going to save in this directory with the name .c extension .c is the extension of any c program if i want to save any c program then the extension must be .c okay as in then now let's compile if uh, compilation mean the compiler will check the syntax and semantics of the program if there is anything wrong then it will throw an error if there is no error and there is no warning even let's run this program here we got the output hello fine let's understand this program one by one the first line is has include studio dot h what is has has stands for pre processor directive this pre processor directive indicates that whatever i am going to do with this should be included should be done included or done before the processing take place this has keyword can be used with two words first has include and second one is has define this has include is instruct the compiler that i want to include a header file into our program and this has defined is used to instruct the compiler that i want to define a constant in our program so we will discuss more on has defined on coming tutorials so has include instruct the compiler that i want to include studio.h header file in our program studio as the name suggest it stands for standard
input output in this header file all the functions related to the input and output are defined and here dot h is the extension of a header file extension of a header file so and this less than greater than symbol indicates that the header file written inside this symbol should be searched in a standard directory that is predefined we can replace the symbol using this double inverted comma notation this double inverted comma notation instruct the compiler that the header file not only will be searched in the standard directory but also in the other directories as well if compiler will search the header file in other directories then for sure it will take some extra time that's why this less than and greater than notation becomes standard so now at this point of time we are able to understand the meaning of this has include studio dot h now let's take the next line that is main the main main is a function from where the execution begin any c program must be consist of at least one function that is main if there is no main in a c program that it cannot be executed and here this parenthesis indicates that preceding is a function so a function is a predefined set of instruction that is used to perform a specific task we will study functions in a great in greater detail in coming tutorials so and here these curly braces indicates that whatever is written inside these curly braces it comes under the main so or it is the body of that function so here the body of main function is this in the only sentence uh, statement written these curly braces is print hello and this belongs to this main function so curly braces are used <coughs> to form the body of a function it can be used for many purposes we will gradually see the implementation in coming lessons and here the printf is a function as i have told you and it think that is preceded by double inverted comma it be treated as a function so if i want to pass a string so i will write it into double inverted comma and each and every statement of a c program must be terminated by a semicolon so i have terminated it with a semicolon so it's that's all for this tutorial thanks for watching